Well, you're now at 20 St. Cuthbert Street. You're the back of the shoe shop. You were here from 1954 until Expo 67. It's 60 years later, and it's still a shoe shop. It looks exactly the same. Obviously, a couple of things are, have changed, built, but the layout looks exactly the way it was. As again, we're just a group of youngsters in this general area that decided to organize something for ourselves. So we started off with ball hockey teams and basketball teams. Sid wrote our little newspaper. Uh, we started to earn a little bit of money, but enough to pay rent and this our first office. There was room for maybe four people because we had three desks there and one typewriter and one phone. So this was here still and this was our main little office. We had a phone, we had a filing cabinet, the old style filing cabinets. Our basketball team, for an example, if we were going to play a game, we, this was the meeting place, so everybody was here. So that brings back a lot of memories from a lot of different kids sitting in. And if we needed, we used to have uh, oranges for every game, so we'd go to Warsaw's, the street down here. We made a deal with them to give us oranges for free. So from there, we started to grow from the beginning. At that time, uh, we maybe we gave one or two food baskets a week. And our second location was a little, we call it, the, Sid and I call it the White House because it's still there, it's painted white, and it was right on the corner of Mount Royal and Park Avenue. And Office space and all. We were there from 67 to 81, and then we moved into Barron Bing when Barron Bing closed. We ran our Little League baseball right across the street. We ran our football right across the street. There was always kids around here. The police used to come down under horses all the time and always stop and talk to the kids. Every now and then they'd fool around with us and they'd ride the horse right into the building. So it was a very interesting corner for us. A lot of things went, went on here. We're now located at 4251 St. Urban. This is our current home and this is where we hope to stay for many, many years to come. This last mural depicts the home of where we are now, which is the old Baron Bing building, which is a very historical building, but now the history is Sun Youth inside of the building. So that's where we're currently located right now in this particular building. And the legacy that we want to leave over is we're, we're working and negotiating to purchase this building and make it a future home for Sun Youth because the legacy Earl and I want to leave is a building and a home for all the staff and volunteers have access to that they can call their own.